Well hey, welcome back. We are working on this. We're making a hammer out of hammer eye plugs from making hammers. This is where we left off yesterday. We still have some work to do on the faces as well as back on the claw. It's feeling hammer-like though. So, I'm going to quickly interrupt us to thank today's sponsor, which is Raid Shadow Legends. Now, get this, they've been sponsoring us for over three years. This is the first Raid Shadow Legends ad I ever did. And I can't believe how young I look, how much bloody hair is on my face. On your face? <laughs> and how badly I had set up the lighting. In that time, so much has changed. I didn't even have dogs, and I wasn't even married. It's a real testament to the fun that you'll have playing the game. For three years on, they are still the most well-known RPG game for mobile and PC. In game, you'll uncover prophecies, curses, betrayals, and meet more than a dozen warring factions. And speaking of them, look at some of these incredible champions from this one. There is a ton happening in Raid this month, including an entirely new event for the Summer Solstice called The Path of Life. Light. There's also new champions coming out and a set of skins for the amazing Trunda Gill Mallet. They look amazing and I can't wait to get my hands on them. But there's more. Raid is currently running a special Diliana chase event where new and existing players can get their hands on the amazing Diliana. All you gotta do is log in and play Raid for seven days over the next month. Now the gifts keep coming. All new players, once you're in game, enter promo code MYDILIANA to get 50 XP brews, maxing Diliana to level 50, and you'll get a ton of silver too. So please go get started and enjoy the game by scanning my QR code on screen or by the links in the description down below. New players will get a free starter pack worth almost $30 to kickstart your game. We're talking a free champion, Aina, 200k silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard. Check them out down below. Don't forget to get new rewards in your inbox here for the next 30 days. Back to America. <laughs> So what you've seen we're trying to do in the last few heats is we're trying to draw down the face. A framing hammer doesn't need to be heavy. It wants to be quite light so there's some good whipping to it. But the trouble is, because we've got this big old handle on it, we can't put it in the power hammer to draw it down. And when we're trying to draw it down with hammer and striker, there is a big handle and a pair of tongs in the way. So it's precarious going and one of the battles that I'm facing is constantly bending the handle. If I constantly bend the handle, I am at great risk of creating cracks. I've spotted where I'm making a bit of a mistake here. We've got all this extra material we're trying to draw down. And I'm wasting a whole lot of energy and time trying to draw down extra material. I know it needs to be shorter. I know there needs to be less material. Why draw down the material that's going to eventually get cut off instead of just cutting it off in the first place? forged for the rough grinding I'm gonna let Sam take the helm because I have to run to Idaho for a dog trial and so again Sam has saved the day and he has taken it upon himself to do some lovely grinding on this hammer it is looking sweet. So now back in the workshop, back to work. I do a little bit more grinding to this. We want to reduce the weight by grinding some bevels here. They're not going to be sharp, but we do want to take some inspiration from the original. Check it out, it's looking pretty cool. It's getting a little bit away from me in terms of how thin it is, but 
uh, it'll at least be light and nimble. All right, so we're gonna need a file guide for our next piece. Fortunately, we have one and we sell them. That will allow us to cut our shoulder up here. So after a quench and a temper, it was time for me to leave, head back to England. And so we drove from Montana across to Chicago, flew from Chicago to France, reunited both dogs together. And I am now back here in England with a heat treated hammer for us to finish out. All right, here's how it's looking after an A100 Trizac belt. We need to go up grits, which is down numbers in Trizac, before this is ready for hand sanding. Fortunately, we've been able to establish some kind of interesting little facets here as this handle section bleeds into the head. And I'm quite fond of it. I think it's looking pretty good. Hand sanding. Okay, we've got the hammer caffeinating itself just a little bit. We're now gonna start thinking about the handle, and I wanna make the handle out of leather. I remember watching the old How It's Made videos on the production of the classic S-Wing integral framing hammer similar to this, and I always loved the leather handles that they used to have. So we're gonna try and recreate that. We've got a little bit of chrome tan leather. We need 35 pieces of it to make up the length we need, and I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and split a length of it. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like. Squeeze these things on, hammer them into place with this, and we are going to have this thing entirely and completely lathered in epoxy. Now look at that, boys and girls. It is glued up with a lot of spillage. That stuff has leaked everywhere. Now it's on to shaping the handle. Feels good, feels like a hammer. Well, it's pretty unbelievable to me that this started off as just a few hammer plugs and a bunch of powder. 
and it's ended up being a really lovely hammer. The thing feels brilliant. That's the nicest carpenter's hammer that I've ever used, which is a shock. Big thank you to Sam at the shop in Montana for helping me build this. The guys over there are working super hard, not only to make your hammers, but also to send you pants and my favorite grinders ever. And thank you, Jamie, for not finding another job while I was gone. It's been a pleasure having you all here. Thank you to Raid Shadow Legends. Check them out down below at the links in the description. They sponsored this video. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.